Namaste, beautiful soul. Welcome to the Blooming Lotus Healing Channel. My name is Jakara, and I am a spiritual healing facilitator. And I am coming in today to share a message, a message that came through uh, this week um, when we had the planetary shift um, with uh, Pluto coming into our awareness energetically. And uh, this is going to be a very different type of video. I don't really do these videos. Um, I don't consider myself someone that uh, that really shares this type of stuff uh, because this doesn't really come to my awareness um, as often. But I felt like what came through um, this week was really necessary for me to talk about, so much so that I also recorded a, um, a pre, uh, an Akasha clearing um, to address this, this, this issue. Um, so, but before we get started, I just kind of wanted to um, share with you that um, if you, if this is your first time um, on this channel, I want to invite you to subscribe. And I also want to take this moment to thank all of my supporters that are part of the Cosmic Light Activation Membership. Thank you so much for um, just for being part of this membership. I'm so grateful for those of you who are part of it. I'm just starting out this membership program where you get to get collective clearings every every month. And I also have a private Telegram group where I um, send a little bit of a reading um, every week. Um, and also for those of you who participate on my Instagram uh, sessions uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, um, you get priority if you're part of this um, of this group. So I want to thank you for being part of this group because it really does help support this channel. It really means a lot to me. So I just kind of wanted to take this moment to thank you all. So um, if you are interested in working with me or if you want to uh, participate in this group, you, you're more than welcome to sign up for my email list. So that way you know when um, this group will be open next, thebloomylotushealing.com. And so enough about this. I just want to kind of want to dive into the conversation that is about uh, Saturn and Pluto. Okay. So um, I kind of wanted to just, first of all, if you don't know what's going on with Saturn and Pluto, um, I'm going to um, share with you something. Uh, I'm reading this directly from a, uh, from a link uh, from Lisa stars. And um, so I'm sorry. I don't think it's Lisa stars. Let me just make sure that I'm stardust, Lisa stardust. <laughs> um, so just kind of wanted to make sure that I kind of uh, drove in this part of what this planetary shift means before I dive into what I received, the message that I received. So there's two major planetary changes that are happening that are significantly important in the spiritual journey, in the spiritual awareness, in the change of consciousness for uh, for Earth. And the first one happened on March 7th, which is Saturn entering Pisces. Now, based on what she's saying here is that this uh, planet enters uh, Pisces on March 7, asking us to blend reality and fantasy together. And this is going to be quite important for um, for what I'm about to say. So I really want to um, invite you to really pay attention to what I said here. So, so for the next two and a half years, um, it'll be basically kind of giving giving us a little bit of a of a awareness of taking us back into what we've been through, and um, and um, kind of like bringing back to our understanding of what that means and how we get to use these experiences from before uh, back back um, in our in our pathway in our lifetime here. Um, so when that set when that when she says that here, it kind of makes me think also of past lives as well. I don't think it's just just um, this lifetime. I feel like it's beyond um, this um this realm, let's just say this lifetime. And the second thing that the, she talks about here is on March 20, March 23, uh, 23rd, which happened this week, uh, Pluto enters Aquarius. And let me tell you what, when I received the message, it was quite literally when Pluto was coming in. I wasn't really in that awareness. I don't, I'm not necessarily an astrologer. I don't really follow too much the planets, the, the changes. Um, because I just kind of go with the flow, what's happening. I, I kind of tend to tap into the Akasha and clear stuff from there. And um, I don't really get too caught up in that because sometimes I don't want to have too much in my mind and have too much um, noise in my mind. But this was really interesting because when I received the download that I received and 
the um, the information that I received was quite literally when Pluto did the shift. So that's the reason why I felt it was important for me to share um, this message alongside with the fact that these shifts have happened um, during this month. So um, when uh, when we look at Pluto, what she says here is uh, Pluto enters Aquarius on March 23rd, leading to changes in diplomatic values, organized communities, and technologies. So I really want to uh, invite you to really think about that. Um, also, uh, there's going to be a little bit of a shift going back to Capricorn on June 11th, but then um, where uh, where it's going to be um, kind of like in um, retrograde also from May 1st to October uh, 11th, and then it will continue to go into Aquarius from uh, November 19th, 2024, all the way to um January 19th, uh, 2044. So it's going to be, Pluto's going to be with us for a while, um, after, um, after kind of, it goes, it does a little cha-cha dance that she mentions here. But, um, but before, um, we dive into this, this awareness of the planets, um, and what this means to, um, to what I'm about to tell you, I want to invite you to really open your mind for what I'm about to tell you, because it's going to be very woo. Uh, and not something that I talk about a lot. This is something that I only talk about um, in closed circles. And um, and it tends to be sometimes frowned upon as something like, what the heck are you talking about? Sometimes it can go over your head. So if it does go over your head, no worries. I completely understand. And I want you to know that it's okay if it does. Um, but I still want to invite you to listen to the clearing that I'm going to be attaching to this video. So even if it goes over your head, please still listen to the clearing because it applies to you. So this message that I am sharing here applies to absolutely everyone that is incarnated on this earth at this moment, period. If you're on earth right now and alive, this applies to you. Okay. So um, let me just tell you a little bit about what happened. So I was uh, in, in, in dream state. Okay. So I was, I was, uh, dreaming. And uh, in this dream, it felt very, very, very real. So I know that I was uh, in some shape or form astral projecting. I, I do a lot of work um, in my dreams. I don't really um, get too caught up in like what I did or not uh, not do. I don't get too caught up on that because I don't, I, I really have this understanding within myself that I just want to try to stay as clear as possible so that I don't have too much on my mind, right? Um, so for even, even for this, this was so intense that I couldn't shake it off. Right. And, um, and I had, and as soon as I woke up in the morning, I had to do an Akasha clearing for myself. And I knew that it was uh, time for me to do a clearing because why? Um, because it was definitely something that, um, that needed to be cleared. And that's the reason why spirit wanted to show me that. Um, so around the night of the, the shift of, of Pluto going into Aquarius, I, um, received this dream where I am shown this, uh, uh, basically this other timeline. Okay. So what happened is that, um, we, Pluto is also, uh, uh, it's not mentioned here on, on what she says here, but Pluto to my understanding is also showing us a little bit of the shadows, right? The parts of us that don't, that we didn't know about. So, this is a part that I didn't, I wasn't aware of that um, that's been happening for a while now. And um, it is a timeline, a lower timeline. So think about like a, a lower vibration timeline that, um, that that is equal to Earth. Right. So it's definitely equal to Earth. Um, and um, what I what I mean by that is parallel. Right. So it's like a parallel um, um, timeline to us right now. And it's, it's also earth, but it's in a different situation. Let's just say like that. So what happens is that, um, let's just say in that timeline, there was a shift. So basically what I mean by that is that the shift is basically um, a veil that was broken. So it's um, you know, I've heard about the veil being broken for a lot of people, like, let's say they when they take psychedelics, or maybe they go into meditation, or they say, oh, the, the veil broke for me, and I was able to see. But this is a different type of veil being broken. Uh, let's just say it's more on a physical matter. So like, think about things that are in a different dimension, that are physically able to come into our dimension. And, um, and the energies don't don't align, right? So there was like this collapse 
of timelines that happened, okay? And when I share this, I really want to invite you to see it uh, away from fear. I don't want to invite any fear into your heart. Um, this is all about creativity and the creation of the universe. So when I see this, I see it as the experimentation, the great experimentation of the universe. And that maybe in that experimentation, something went wrong. And, um, and then now it had to be repaired, right? So which is exactly what happened. So the archangels and angels um, really took care of, uh, of, of this, of this expression. Um, and as, as I believe, based on the, uh, I believe it was about, um, it's about 80% that they've, they've actually uh, cleared it, but there's another 20% that we have to do our work. So I am calling all, all light workers, all star seeds, all of you who are basically here to, um, to do good in the world, to bring your light into the world. You definitely want to make sure that you listen to this clearing. This is something that is needed uh, because when you do this, then you're capable of actually shifting um, the energy. So, um, okay. So I, I feel like I'm going all over the place. So I kind of wanted to go back to what I was saying. So I am in my dream and I'm, I'm shown that I'm, I'm in a different timeline and I'm just going to give you a description. It was destruction. It was like complete, utter destruction. There was, it was this darkness, almost like this cloud, like it felt very, very cloudy, very dark um, energy. There were a lot of parasitic energies, just gigantic parasitic energies destroying the world. And they weren't necessarily, think about this, for example, um, think about like an animal, like a wild animal, just like out loose and just wrecking everything. It's, it was kind of like that. It didn't, I didn't feel like there was like, oh my God, this evil thing. It was kind of more like there was this like wild, like there was this, like, um, let's say, um, timeline that held these, these entities, right. And these entities were able to, for whatever reason, um, kind of, and I'm not really sure exactly the reason, but, um, I'm feeling like it was kind of more experimentation than anything, to be honest with you. But, um, so for whatever reason, these were able to, um, kind of see through into that timeline. And so it's kind of interesting because I feel like these, uh, these timelines are kind of like more experimentation timelines, but they also affect us because we, as, as souls, as we incarnate, we also incarnate on these other parallel lives to, um, to do work as well as souls. So, um, so basically the, this timeline is directly related to the, to this, to this one that we're on. And so because that happened on that timeline, it directly affects us because we, as a soul, are basically incarnated not only in our in this in this expression here right now. For example, I'm Jakara. I'm ex in, in incarnated in this expression, but then I'm also incarnated as another expression in another timeline um, that is parallel to this one. So what I'm talking about right now is that parallel for that uh, for this time for that timeline, right? That is parallel to us. So um, these <laughs> they were like wrecking the place all over the place, and it was like I mean it was just everything like think about the destruction of of buildings um like if you have ever seen like those movies where um where you have like these giant you know beings or ro robots or whatever that just kind of destroying things like kind of like that like you know like those japanese you know movies or whatever um so what i'm trying to say here is that they were destroying everything and there was like this parasitic energy just kind of like all over the place and there was like a division on the planet of two types of humans. There were the humans that were um, kind of like immersed or merged in with AI, and there were humans that were more organic. And so what happened is that um, the ones that were immersed with AI, because they did not have the ability to see beyond, like when you're merged with, with a machine, you're, you're no longer operating from the heart, right? You're operating from a very logical standpoint and things are just kind of like, you know, um, and not necessarily always logical, but logical to the machine, right? Um, but logical to us as a humans, they may not, it may not be logical. But what I'm trying to say here is that there were like these beings that were also humanoid and they were uh, uh, human, but they were kind of like taken over by AI. And, and, and I saw the, their heads were kind of like metallic, but they're, they weren't really metallic. It was like almost like metal, like organic metal. It was really interesting to see, but anyway, but they were very, very strong and, um, and almost kind of robotic. And they had like these, um, 
like these really long arms. It was really like very mechanic, like uh, the best way that I can explain. But anyway, so um, they were basically attacking other humans, um, thinking that we were the reason why we actually um, brought in these parasite parasitic things. So they thought that by going in and kill killing anything that was organic, then they would take care of this issue. So um, I know this sounds kind of like very fantastical and very crazy, but I kind of want to invite you to think about what I mentioned earlier um, in regards to um, the uh, Saturn entering Pisces and really understand blending reality and fantasy together. So, you know, I know this sounds very fantastical and I know that I know this sounds really uh, like just out there, right? Very just outlandish. However, I want to invite you to really just really stay present with what I'm trying to say, Re regardless of what I saw or regardless of the of the uh, of how fantastical it is, the energies are still affecting us regardless of that, right? So I really what I want you to focus on is on the energies, right? So you most likely have been feeling for the past two weeks a lot of freaking crazy energies coming through. I know this. A lot of people have been telling me this. I've been I was feeling it too. I even had like a situation. I if you notice, I haven't posted videos for the past couple of weeks. Uh, because that's usually I, I do my videos on, on Saturdays or Fridays or so, somewhere. I try to do my videos fresh every week and I couldn't do them because I was tired. I was being guided to just like retreat. And then I was also um, when I took some time off during uh, spring break because my husband uh, was taking time off for from his from his from school. And then I, I scheduled it ahead of time. But for whatever reason, my body just collapsed and I needed to take time off. Right. So anyway, um. So the interesting thing about this whole thing, right, is that um, this this whole experience was I was confused, right? Like I was just confused in this entire two weeks. Like why why am I feeling like this? And a lot of people that I've talked to that are very sensitive to energies were feeling like that as well. And I was like, okay, well, what's going on? And this came up, right? Like this essence of of what happened, right? Because I didn't really get to see everything. I just saw what. I was experiencing myself, but I was also being told that this is collective and you need to bring this message forward. And I said, okay, fine, I will bring it forward. Um, so I pulled some cards and one of the things that mess that one of the messages that Spirit was saying here um, is that we've been kind of like in this lull of um, energetically and uh, spiritually speaking, we'll, we've been in this lull of like comfort and seeking comfort. And um, we are being invited by the universe, by our guides, by our, our archangels, the angels, spirit in general, to really start moving into more of that energy of transcendence and transcending all of these things that we've been uh, putting aside because we haven't like we haven't taken the time right to address and a lot of these things that i'm talking about are those experiences uh those emotions that have been repressed for a while that are affecting your well-being not only not only uh, physically but mentally and spiritually and so this message is a spiritual message and is basically letting you know let this be a confirmation that the experiences that you've had so far that you've been trying to push down are also affecting you at the spiritual level. And so the reason why it's important for us to address this is because when we repress all of this stuff, then it's harder for us to go deeper into um, into addressing other things outside of this timeline, right? So we're, we're kind of being urged, right, by spirit to to understand and to give us a reminder. And this, this message really is a reminder that you are a multidimensional being who is not only living on this timeline and on this lifetime, but who's also incarnated in other lifetimes and other timelines. And that as you move through this journey on this, on, on this path, you know, uh, you want to make sure that you, that you also address the other parts of you that are um, also part of your soul. Um, because again, your soul is so much more vaster than uh, what you perceive here in this body. So, or um, the other thing that I was uh, I was feeling too is there was a card that came up where it was the card of Gemini because um, I, I was pulling from my astrology deck and Gemini the word that came up the keyword that really resonated for me right now was the network networking and when I saw that I thought about 
how we are on this journey of trying to merge. Like I'm not, I'm not saying trying to merge, but we're really on this journey of living our life truly through the internet. And so my invitation to you is to, yes, absolutely connect to, to the internet and connect, you know, obviously I'm here on the internet. So I'm posting this on the internet and, you know, I'm, I'm part, um, part of the problem slash solution or whatever. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that, you know, you want to try to make sure you balance. And that's one thing that spirit keeps saying is you want to balance yourself into, um, into bringing your life to the, you know, to where you, where you're at now. Um, and, and, and bring that organic life into, your experience. So like going out to nature and being around people and, you know, being present with people in person and, and those type of things are important and so nourishing for us. So I can tell you that when I don't do that, I work from home. And when I don't do that, I truly, I don't feel so good um, after a while. So it's important for us to do that often. Okay. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to mention as well is that you want to make sure that you recognize that there's a lot of un things that are at the sub at the subconscious, right? At the subconscious that are not um, that are not being um, um, addressed, right? For a while, and that's why Pluto is coming in and kind of like boom on your face, like you have to address this, like you thought that you were going to ignore this, but I'm not going to let you ignore this type of thing. So I kind of want to invite you to just give yourself grace and time to, um, to do that inner work, to do that shadow work. I'm a huge shadow worker. Like, you know, what I do with SRT, with spiritual response therapy, that to me is shadow work. So what we're doing is we are basically going into the, um, into the Akashic records and we're, we're finding all the crap, right? All the ugly things. And I know that for, I've had even clients say like, they get triggered by that. It's like, oh my gosh, but that's not who I am. And I'm, and I try to tell them, it's like, it's not, I'm not saying that that's who you are, but it is part of the shadow. So, and the medicine is in the shadow. And, um, so we want to go lean into the shadow and, and drink that medicine, right? So that we can feel better. So, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that you want to make sure that you do that work, um, and again, in your own time, it doesn't have to, there's no pressure, but that's a, it's a friendly reminder that you want to make sure that you do that work um, um, so that you can, you know, so that your energies are not so harsh on you. Um, and so there are ancestors that are coming through for us from the stars, okay? So like star, uh, star uh, beings that are supporting us. Um, in this journey of, of, of shifting energies and transcending and transforming and alchemizing. Um, and, you know, we have so much support at the, at the, um, at the spiritual level. So just, just give yourself permission to be open to receive, you know, when you listen to this, to this clearing, be open to receive and just know that this clearing is for, um, for everyone, right? So if you can share this, with all your friends, all your family, have them listen to this. You don't even have to have them listen to, to this whole part. It doesn't matter. I, I just wanted to share this, this uh, explanation to, um, to the timeline collapse um, so that you could understand why I created this. Like, because you're going to be like, okay, why do I need this? Well, this is why. Because when you do this clearing uh, for yourself, you're helping yourself, but then you're also helping clear that timeline. So the more of us do that, the better it'll be for, uh, for that timeline and the better it will be for us in general, because it affects us as a collective. So remember individually, we are affected, but we are also affected at the collective. So the clearing that I did is a collective clearing. Um, hence the reason why, you know, the more people do it, the better. And if you feel, if you feel an inkling, like maybe you're like, you know what, Jakara, like I've been having all these dreams and I've been having all these like horrific things that I've been seeing that that happened to me on on my dream. And it felt like it, I was like in a different dimension. It felt like I was it was off and something was wrong, you know, and you want to um, you want to work with me directly and do a specific clearing for for yourself, then uh, we can do that. That's definitely a thing. I did it for myself as well. And I found a bunch of stuff. So if I found it for me, I'm sure I can find it for you. Um, and I'll find it for everyone basically that wants to do it. But, you know, it's not required, but it's definitely something that 
could potentially help you um, so that you don't carry those negative energies uh, forward with you, right? Um, so I feel like I, I'm complete and, and I don't have much more to say um, in regards to this. Um, but all I wanted to say too is I wanted to ask you to um, consider donating um, if you can um, on my website, um, as an, uh, as just a love donation. This, this clearing is completely free. I was trying to, um, I was trying to put it up, um, on my website and I was going to put like, I was going to sell it for like $3 and 33 cents. Right. And spirit was like, no, you're going to put this up for free. And I was like, okay, fine. Um, and so I would love it if you, um, if you support, <laughs> if you can, um, but again, it's not required and don't feel, don't feel pressured either because again, this is, um, this is super important for everyone. So I just don't want you to feel like, oh my gosh, your car, like, how dare you? Like, I don't want you to feel like that. Um, so anyway, um, I think that's it. I'm going to end it here. I want to make it easier for you guys because the clearing is about 40 minutes, about 40 minutes long. Um, so I don't want to make this video too long and boring for you. But um, again, I want to thank you. Um, if this is your first time here on this channel, I want to invite you to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Again, I want to thank all my supporters uh, from the Cosmic Light Activation Membership. I'm going to uh, put your names here. I'm so, so grateful for all of you for just supporting me. And, you know, it really means the world to me. I am so, so grateful to all of you. And um, again, uh, please, if you like this video and share it, you, you help me share this message out and about. So please share, share this video. Like out of all the videos that I've done, please just share this one. Like I almost don't even care about any other video, but this one, like this one is important and I feel is necessary for us. And, um, I may, I I'm thinking about maybe putting up the, the clearing, just the clearing on its own as an audio file on my website. Um, and, um, and I'm, I may have to, I mean, I, I, I can't really put it up for free, but I may, uh, I may have to put it up for like a very small fee in case you just want to send out the, the recording and you don't want to like give, like send this explanation to someone. Um, that's another option that I'll probably do as well. Um, so I guess I'll have that available too, in case you just want the recording. Um, and, um, and again, it'll just be at a very small exchange, um, uh, so that you can have that. And I would say, um, you know, if you are going to do the, the, the clear, if you want to, if you want to do the clearing, um, with me in person, like you want to do a one-on-one -on -one specifically for you. Um, I still recommend that you do the, this, like that you still listen to this collective clearing regardless. Okay. So I am done. Um, I, I just love you all. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And, um, I want to thank you again and namaste. Love you. Welcome, beautiful soul, to this clearing that we are going to set an intention on to clear all timelines that have collapsed and that are ready to be cleared for our highest good. So as I mentioned, we are clearing timelines or timeline that are affecting us at a collective level. So everything that we're going to be clearing right now moving forward is going to be at the collective level if you need additional support in regards to the energies of pluto and saturn showing up in your life right now uh, feel free to reach out to me but in the meantime you can listen to this clearing and this should support your journey of relief i also want to invite you to make sure that when you listen to this clearing you listen to it in its entirety as we are opening your records and it's important that we open and close your records so make sure that you're listening to this clearing at a time that you're able to relax and allow yourself to just unfold if you want you can listen to this clearing while you sleep uh, it will also help if you um, allow yourself to just be in that space of release even if you don't remember what was said that doesn't matter what matters is that you are able 
to receive the clearing and allow yourself to let go of the programs and energies that don't serve your highest good. So let's begin. I want to invite you to get comfortable in a seated or a lying down position. And we're going to take a couple of deep breaths together just to ground ourselves into our body and allow ourselves to open up to receive the healing and support from spirit. I want to invite you to take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And when you take that deep breath, visualize this beautiful white light coming in, in through your nose and expanding into your body. And as you release your mouth, visualize all that doesn't serve your highest good being released. So the count of three, one, two, three, deep breath. All the way in, allow yourself to expand and release your mouth. Release until you have nothing else. Take another deep breath in through the nose. Allow yourself to expand and take space and release your mouth. Another deep breath in through the nose. And release. One last time, take that deep breath. And release. At this moment, I just want to invite you to go back to your regular breath. Just notice the sensation of your nostrils as the air goes in and out of your nostrils. Give yourself permission to be present in your body. I want to invite you to bring back all of your energy, all of your thoughts. Disconnect yourself from everything that is keeping you from being present in the moment, grounded in your body. Allow yourself to bring yourself back into center, back into your heart space. And I just want to invite you to invite all of your energy back to you. So within yourself, just say, I bring back all of my energy back to my heart space. I bring back all of my energy back to my heart space. I bring back all of my energy back to my heart space and with every breath you take you allow yourself to relax even deeper into your body and give yourself permission to just unfold with every breath you take you can relax a little more and a little more with every breath you take. And we're going to ground into Mother Earth, into Pachamama. Visualize yourself lying down on the grass in a beautiful field. It's a nice afternoon. It's the end of the afternoon and the sun is setting. And you feel the warmth of the sun very subtle and golden color just infused into your entire body as you allow yourself to relax even deeper into the floor, into the grass. As we open the sacred container, I call upon Archangel Michael to shield and protect the space. I call upon Archangel Raphael to help with the healing and all of the integration of the healing that is going to be downloaded today and calling upon Archangel Metatron to help us navigate the Akashic Records and connect the soul to their higher self so that they can receive the healing that is for their highest good and allow their programs to be cleared and released. And now, visualize yourself in this beautiful field, feeling the warmth of the sun, very subtle warmth, the 
beautiful golden rays of light all over your body. And as you allow yourself to unfold even deeper, you can sense yourself becoming one with Mother Earth. Becoming one with Mother Earth. Becoming one with Mother Earth. Allow yourself to soften ever so gently, ever so gently, ever so gently. And as you allow yourself to relax even deeper, now you are going to focus your attention four fingers above your head and your crown is right above your head this beautiful crystal crown opening up and this crown is inviting the beautiful energy of spirit of your higher self coming down down from a place beyond the sun this beautiful golden light that starts to make its way towards your crown expanding into your entire body as you become the light you become the light shining bright this golden energy that starts to make its way towards your entire body infusing every single cell of your body there's this indigo light coming through also infusing into every cell of your body helping activate your body to open up allow this energy to go all the way down towards the bottom of your feet anchoring 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 spirit is anchored in your vessel now you're both connected to the earth and sky and now this beautiful white light starts to infuse into your body and as it infuses it expands out and now you're expanding your light out into the room and I want to invite you to keep your eyes closed as I open the records and allow yourself to unfold into a relaxed state Allow yourself to listen to what comes up without any distractions. All the time that you're listening to my voice, you relax even deeper and allow yourself to fall asleep if you need to. Allow yourself to relax and unfold and trust that you are loved, supported, you're received, Accepted as you are, seen as you are, in all of who you are. I'm setting the intention to do a collective clearing. As I set this intention to do a collective clearing, this recording is active for those who listen to this clearing. All of the records that we're going to be tapping into will be at the collective level and we're setting the intention to open the records to clear the timelines that were collapsed, that were revealed at the time of Saturn and Pluto, coming together and making changes, shifting consciousness of humanity. I call upon spirit, upon, upon the ancestors, upon the guides, upon the animal guides, loved ones, angels of light. I ask you to stand around us as you support us in this journey. And I ask that all guides funnel all information through the higher self of these souls. Do we have an agreement? Spirit and the soul are one and they work as a team. I ask the soul to be a clear and neutral channel of spirit. 
This work is done in the most expanded, loving expression of spirit. How long will it take to prepare for them? Please clear any blocks, interferences, and our extra souls for them and their higher self. How long will it take to prepare for them? Spirit asks you to please connect the soul to their higher self and please clear anything or anyone or any entity that is keeping the soul from connecting to their higher self. We only want to work with their higher self. Who's working with them right now? Is there anyone else involved? Please download all the wisdom, light, knowledge, understanding, and truth of the one universe. Please clear all original 13 bodies of negative programming and leave only positive programs. Please download information known and unknown needed to be able to perform a proper clearing for the soul. Please make sure the spiritual committee is minimum size for maximum effect for the soul. If not, please clear until they are. Please clear, remove, elevate, and educate committee members to the most expanded level. Please clear, remove, elevate, and educate committee members to the most expanded level. I ask Spiritual Perfect Kitchen Committee, please come forth and help remove and clear and send to a perfect place all entities that are living below incarnation for these souls. Please make sure that you remove all implants at all levels up to Godhead and beyond, and I ask that their DNA and chromosomes are cleared and healed. Please clear all observers, dark entities, disturbing deceivers, falses in the teachers, bad men, black cloak, dark galactic entities, please clear, remove, and send to a perfect place, and I ask for all implants to be removed at all levels up to Godhead. I ask that their DNA and chromosomes are cleared and healed. Please clear any abdicating energy energy running in their higher self committee. Please remove any member of the committee that is running an abdicated energy and replace with one that is not running in that energy. Please clear any entities, blocks, or interferences that are remaining for the soul. Please clear positive ego. Please clear negative ego. Please clear neutrality. Please clear any lies from the soul or the higher self. Do head to, ta head to toe search and apply alpha to omega if needed. For both the higher self and the soul, thank you. Please set up a triple eye shield for this soul. Please apply Merkaba shield for this soul. Please apply Golden shield for this soul. We are now ready to clear. Spirit, you indicated that we are now in the time that we need to clear energies from Saturn at the collective. What is the percentage that Saturn energies or planetary energies are blocking for the highest good for these souls? Collective programs found. Please clear identification with ideas program. That was found on this present light. Please 
He's clear cowardice. Moody. Illness. Health abuse. Conflict. Please clear all discordant energies and replace with good. Please clear programs that were set up for this lifetime and replace with good. Negative benefit program found from parallel lives. Depression energy found. Moody energy found. Vengefulness energy found. Toxic shame energy found. Please clear discordant energies that were found or replaced with good. Please clear program of negative benefit in parallel lives. For all souls involved, discordant energies that were found or replaced with good. Clear and seal openings and filtrations in parallel lives. Thank you. Are there any other programs that are um, that are part of Saturn's uh, current energy that need to be cleared at this moment? Do we have any programs related to Pluto? Experience trauma program found in parallel life for all. Conflict energy, moody, judgmental, violence, lying, not on charts. Please clear discordant energies that were found and replaced with good. Please clear experienced trauma program that was found in parallel life for all souls involved. Any discordant energies that were found and replaced with good. Please clear and seal openings and filtrations in parallel life. Thank you. Are there any additional programs that are related to Pluto that need to be cleared? Future life programs found. Future life on this incarnation. This is for the group, for all. Energies found. Resentment. Selfishness. Terror, Moody, Heat of Life, please clear discordant energies that were found and replace with good. Please clear future lives and future life program that was found for all and replace with good. Thank you, Spirit. Any additional Pluto energy that needs to be cleared here for this group. Spirit, you indicated that we have timelines that have collapsed. Are there any energies that need to be cleared for the collective? Mental inheritance program found from a parallel life, which is timeline, collapse, parallel life. For all energies found, panic, revenge, ego, health abuse, resentment, 
Please clear discordant energies that were found and replace with good. Thank you, Spirit. Please clear programs that were found in regards to inheritance, mental inheritance, and parallel lives, all discordant energies that were found and replaced with good. Please clear and seal openings and filtrations in parallel lives. Thank you. Are there any additional programs that need to be cleared in regards to the timeline collapse? Future lives program in future life on this incarnation for all. Energies found, panic, cruelty, depression, lethargy, pain of life, greed, frustration. Please clear discordant energies that were found and replace with good. Please clear program of future life and future life in this incarnation for all souls involved, all energies that were found and replaced with good. Are there any other programs in regards to the timeline collapse that just happened in the past two weeks that need to be cleared at this moment? Mental imprint. In parallel lives. For all. Harm that was received. Physical harm. That was serious. For the purpose of teaching. And learning a lesson. Clearing physical harm that was serious, that was performed for the purpose of teaching or learning a lesson, clearing all discordant energies attached to this harm, and please replace with good. Thank you, Spirit. Please clear mental imprint that was found in parallel life for all souls involved, all harm that was done, any discordant energies attached and replaced with good. Clear and seal openings and filtrations in parallel lives. Thank you. Spirit, is there anything else in regards to the timeline collapse that you revealed in the past two weeks that need to be cleared at this moment for the collective? Does this satisfy the need of the clearing of the collective that you have indicated? Is there anything else that the collective needs for clearing at this moment? Harmony. Please clear harmony and let harmony be expressed for the soul now. Is there anything else that needs to be cleared for the collective at this moment? Please clear beyond looping. Please clear extra souls and send to a perfect place. Please clear separation from one. Please clear blocks to mental expression. Please clear fall from grace.
memory clearing. Please clear blocks to luminous. Please clear 18th group of gods. Please clear items not on charts. Please clear archetypes. Please clear mind of spirit. Please clear elevations. Please clear. Are there any mesas? Any baby mesas? Is there anything else here that needs to be cleared? Please clear energy of creation at all levels on chart 3. Please clear balance of, of please please clear and balance energy of love. Please clear and balance thoughts of the one universe. Please clear spiritual programs. In regards to the collapse of the timelines that you've indicated, is there anything else that needs to be cleared? Are there any planetary influences that need to be cleared still? What is the percentage that planetary influences are still active for the soul? Please clear any planetary influences that are, that are still remaining and replace with good. Allow the soul to be connected to their soul and to the, their highest expression beyond the energies of the planets. Let the soul rise above the energies of the planet. Please clear collective fear remaining for the soul. Please clear collective greed remaining for the soul. Please clear collective need of power and misuse of power for the soul. Please realign to inner power and inner knowing, allowing the soul to rise into the highest expression and highest alignment. Please clear interplanetary programs and align with Blueprint of Love. Please clear interactive programs and align with Blueprint of Love. Please clear Breath of Life and align with Blueprint of Love. Please clear expression of love at the spiritual and align with blueprint of love. Please clear father hunger and realign with cosmic father.
Please clear addiction to separation and realign with blueprint of love. Please clear mother hunger and realign and reconnect to cosmic mother. Please clear and reconnect to the grid of spirit and align with a blueprint of love. Please clear all dimension portals of love and bring down two, two maximum portals of love. Please clear and close up until two. Please remove hooks and repair and bring back to health. Please remove implants and repair and bring back to health. Please clear and remove false guides and replace with guides that are aligned for their highest good. Please clear and remove parasites. and replace with good. Clear, remove, and send to a perfect place. Please clear blocks of truth. Please clear aura tears and leaks and repair and replace with good. Please clear, remove and send to a perfect place all archons found. Please clear light magic and replace with good. Please clear dark magic and replace with good. Please apply by Please apply green Please apply black. Please apply a vibration of Jasper. Please apply a vibration of aquamarine. Please apply and activate light ray, colors and codes. Please apply and activate light ray, colors and codes of healing integration. Please apply and activate light ray, colors and codes of accelerator. Please apply and activate light, activate light ray of life energies, colors and codes. Please apply and activate light ray of embodiment. Apply colors and codes. Please apply and activate light ray of quantum computations, colors and codes. Please apply and activate light ray of acceptance, colors and codes.
Healing applied. Please apply integrated body therapy. Please clear 10A through 32. Please apply homeopathic remedies. Please apply grounding. Please apply back flower remedies. Please apply flower essences and vibrational healing. No additional healing. Archangel Raphael is coming forward. Archangel Raphael applying third eye healing. Archangel Raphael applying life visions and downloading to the higher self of the soul. Archangel Raphael helping with eliminating addictions, downloading healing to the higher self of the soul. Checking what else needs to be cleared for the collapse of the timeline. Was the percentage has been cleared? What else needs to be cleared for the planetary shifts of Pluto at the collective? Was the percentage that's been cleared? What is the percentage that the planetary shifts of Saturn still need to be cleared? The percentage has been cleared. Please apply harmony. And seal energies ground into Mother Earth, ground into Mother Earth, ground into Mother Earth. Thank you. Please apply mop up for this session. Does the higher self agree that we're cleared? Does the spiritual being agree that we're cleared? Does your spiritual being agree that we're cleared? Are there any programs coming up to be cleared? I will pre-program illnesses, accidents, disease, dementia programs being cleared as part of the mop up. Has brain restructuring being carried out as part of the mop up? What is the percentage of accuracy and completion? Please show me the level of consciousness of the soul. Please apply triple eye shield with emerald shield, indigo shield, pink ray and violet flame shield for the soul. Thank you. This concludes the session. You may allow yourself to drift back into deeper sleep or if you decide, you may open your eyes. I want to thank you for listening to this meditation as well as clearing. And I want to invite you to reach out if you are a feeling like you need more personalized clearing in regards to this issue. Thank you and namaste.